Hey, Fullness. I hope everybody is staying safe and well. I miss seeing everybody. Um, but I want to share something with you. Uh, the scripture is Deuteronomy 31.8. It's the Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid and do not be discouraged. Um, last November, my daughter-in-law told me that uh, she was signing me up to do the half marathon, Mercedes half marathon with uh, her and my son and her parents. And it was like, oh my gosh, I can't do that. And she said, oh, don't worry about it. It's no, not a big deal. You, you run long, you can do this. And she said, all you have to do is finish. And uh, she said, There's, there'll be walkers out there. And when I was at that time, that's what I was doing. I was running mostly and I was walking some, but um, I reluctantly agreed. And once I did that, it was like, oh my gosh, I've got all this anxiety. She said, you've got three months to, to work this out. And fear was gripping me every day. So I'd go out every day and I would pray, Lord, please just help me just to finish. Just want to finish. <laughs> I want to get under, the, I want to finish before the time limit and all that. And so he was, I would get, uh, scriptures out of the word for fear and to, that would help me during that time. And this was just one of them. And this was really the main one that the Lord himself would go before me. And it helped, you know, every time I would start to get that, feel that feeling in my stomach, you know, at what time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. And the scripture would come to me, this one of Deuteronomy. About two months, I did that for about two months. You know, Lord, please help me just finish. And then about a month before, it was like I was said that same prayer. And it once I said, let me just finish, it was like, no, I don't want to just finish. I want to finish strong. You know, I want to finish strong. I don't want to just finish. So from that moment on for that next month, that's what I was praying. You know, I, and it, when I would do that, it would help give me strength, you know, as I kept training for this event. And then, um, you know, the day of the event, I was... I was, I was pretty nervous about it, uh, but I still, I knew I was going, that I wasn't going to turn around. I wasn't going to stop. I wasn't going to back out. Um, so we got there and it was, uh, you know, it was great. I mean, lots of, lots of activity, lots of people, uh, lots of really loud music. <laughs> I helped kind of get me distracted a little bit from what I was about to do, but we got there and I got in got in line, got in my place, which was at the back of the line because I was one of those people that they were one of the faster ones up front. That was great with me. So you know, I was still a little nervous. But once the once the um, the race started, then I felt fine. I felt okay. I'm I'm in this, and I'm just going to do it. I had. About two weeks before that, I had done 12 and a half out there at Lakeshore. So I, I knew I could, it was in me to do it. And that helped to give me a little confidence. But, you know, just saying these scriptures over and over again really helped me during that time. And I know the, uh, I had no idea what to expect. I'd never done this before. And it seemed like the first seven miles or so, or maybe even eight, I don't know, or it was a steady incline. Then it would level off an incline level off and it was getting kind of tough. Uh, my time was pretty good for, for several miles. And then as I kept going, as we kept going up in these little inclines, I was walking a little bit more and, um, it was getting pretty hard. And then once it started to go down, it was about, I don't know, maybe it was after about seven or eight miles, it started to level off and go down. I felt a lot better. I was able to kind of pick my pace up again. Um, and then shortly after that, my toes and my legs started cramping. Um, I was getting water at every station, but my toes and my legs started cramping. And I was tired. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to lie to you. I was tired. But I was just giving it everything that I had. 
to do this. And I kept going and kept struggling with this, with this cramping stuff. And then I was like, I don't know if I can finish. I probably won't finish strong today, Lord, but just uh, help me to finish and, and get through this. And so it was probably, I don't know, maybe I was a quarter mile or more out and it was the streets were empty there were no people except the runners on the streets right around there and uh, I always look at the ground when I'm running because I don't want to fall over anything and then if sometimes I look up but anyway I looked up and I saw this person just way down toward the just pretty good ways away from me I couldn't make out I knew it was a, a female but I couldn't make out anything more. I saw her jumping up and down or she's waving her hands all up in the air. And, um, and so I just kept looking down as I was running. <laughs> and the closer I got, I could hear uh, her, I could hear this voice say, say, mom, mama. I was like, oh my gosh. That was my daughter. And I could see her. I knew, I knew who she was. And it was like everything in me just kind of, just kind of broke. But it was good. It was good. I mean, you know, I was, I'll tell you, I, I, I don't mind going through you know, testing me, myself physically, uh, emotionally, I was pretty, pretty thin, and it was like, I can't believe this, and, and all in, all about the same time, the Lord spoke to me, and he said, this is how I feel about you, she was rejoicing, she was rejoicing. She was yelling out loud. She was going, you can do this. You can do this. And she was just yelling, Mom. And I felt like God was telling me that this is what he does for us all the time. We're just not aware of it most of the time. That he is there. His presence is there with us. And he is excited. He's He's, he's so excited for us, and he's, it's a joy for him to see us and to help us continue to do, to live life. And uh, uh, and it was like, one thing she said, it's almost over, it's almost over, you know. And so I got closer to her, we hugged, and then she said, you can't stop now. And so she started, she got back up on the sidewalk, and she started running with me. And I can tell you that those last few blocks of that race, I ran faster than I did the whole time. I had strength, I had energy. You know, my legs were feeling kind of heavy, but they did it. They got up and they started running faster. And I could see her out the side of my, the corner of my eye running with me. And you know, God does that for us all the time. He's, he knows, and he's there, and he's, he's with us with every step that we take. And, uh, you know, I, had, I went down the rest of the way, you know, by myself. And where moments before I was really struggling <laughs> to get through this, I was flying down that last part. I had a great big smile on my face, and I crossed the finish line with a big smile. My son and I knew that she was there. I knew the presence of the Lord was there with me. She ran as far as she could through the crowd, and then she had to stop. But that just kept me going. And my son was there at the end. And he came up, and he just put his... Put his arms around me. He said, Mom, you did great. And, you know, it was just, 
There were so many things that happened during that time that I felt like God was showing me different things all along that path. But, but this one that uh, he rejoices over us. He rejoices over you. He dances over you. He calls your name. And I just want to leave this with you that no matter where you are in life right now, no matter whatever situations and circumstances are going on in your life right now, the Lord himself goes before you. He will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Don't be afraid and don't be discouraged. I love you guys. I hope to see you soon.